Hey everyone, welcome to Nerding IO. I'm JD, and today we're going to be going through ChatGPT Vision and look at some tips and tricks. So if you've seen our previous video, we kind of went through some of the use cases that you can use, and now we're going to show you how to get the best results. All right, so first things first, uh, we just want to go through like quickly how to actually use the uh, chat GPT vision. So if you have GPT-4 and you go up to your drop down here, you actually don't need to select anything. A lot of the times if you're going to use Bing or the advanced uh, data analysis or even Dolly 3, you'd have to go up there. But as long as you have default, you can go ahead and get started with vision. And then what you can do is you can actually use this uh, attach images. So you can just click and it'll open the, uh, the desktop or you can actually drag from your, uh, from like your folder paths or desktop or whatever, and just put it in there. The other really cool thing is you can actually take screenshots. And so what I mean by that is there's a command in the, um, it, there's a command in Mac where you can basically do command control shift four. It'll give you your crosshairs just like usual, but then you can actually highlight what you want to click, select, take an image of that. So in this case, we'll just take this and you can actually highlight and select. The cool thing about this is that actually puts it in your clipboard. So you can now copy and paste it. So all you have to do is command V. And there you go, you have your own image. Hey everyone, real quick, if you're enjoying this video, please remember to like and subscribe. It helps more than you know. Also, let us know in the comments if there's anything you'd like us to go over. All right, let's get back to nerding. The next thing that you can do is just like you would previously, you wanna actually give, act, as a, uh, act as a role. So you can tell it to act as a uh, image specialist specifically on comics. And the reason I'm saying that is we're going to ask it to define our, uh, what comics are, are on the back of the wall. So tell me the comic book characters. fix that on the wall and their origin. I'll just go ahead and fix that really quick. And then we can go ahead. And so it can take a little bit of time to get started. All right, and so now what it's doing is it's actually analyzing these images in the background to define what the work is. So I'm going to pause this while. All right, and now it's finished. And so what it did is it actually picked up the the multiple characters. And the thing that I find interesting about this is not only did it pick up uh, Harley Quinn in the back the uh, and her origin story, but it also defines where it's finding it in the image. And what's crazy is like, I actually painted this. So uh, it took my uh, terrible uh, painting ability and was able to define it as Harley Quinn, which was cool. Uh, and then also Batman and even the Joker, um, which is in there. The other, the one thing that it did miss is uh, Darth Vader here drinking out of a teacup, but that's all right. So as a bonus, I just wanted to go through the uh, the way to do this in mobile. So there's a little icon that you can click that will look like an image, and it'll just pull up a, uh, a menu for either checking something for your photo library. You can actually take a photo, or you can choose files. The other thing that you can do is you can actually click and hold on the photo in like the browser or something and then do copy image 
This will allow you to actually paste it directly into ChatGPT. And so once you paste it in or use this icon here, you can actually just start interfacing with it and ask it questions. All right, and that's it for us today. What we learned was a couple of different techniques for getting the best results when communicating with an image, as well as some hotkey commands that we can kind of pull everything into as quick as possible in order to get the results that we want. So if you haven't seen our previous video, please check out our use cases. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Happy nerding.